Hey, welcome back. So this just turned up on the shelves at my local Kmart. I had seen grainy pictures, so I like, you know, blurry pictures on the internet. So I knew it was coming, but I had no idea when. So yeah, this is a brand new Little Mermaid storybook Lego set build thing, this playset. And it, sorry about the fact my camera just decided didn't want to actually video it when I was opening this up. So you get kind of a static version here, but this is the set. We're going to open it in a moment. There are 134 pieces. It's $33 here in Australia, $20 in the USA, and it is based on the new live action Little Mermaid, which isn't released at the time of this of this video. So we have got a brand new, brand new skin tone for the Little Mermaid, which is very exciting. Because the micro dolls don't actually print on the back, she looks a bit naked on the back, like it's just a mermaid tail, but no, she does have little clam shelly kind of things happening on the front or little scales. Her face, she's got the micro doll version of the new look for the Disney princesses, which is these squarish kind of eyes, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I'm not gonna harp on it. Her hair piece is, cause she's got braids or dreadlocks in the previews that we've seen for the movie. She's actually got Andrea's hair piece, but in a new like burgundy kind of color and she has got a flower on the side which I'm gonna assume is a starfish so very cute apart from the face print but they're also she's not the only micro doll in here I would have bought this set for this reason alone is that you get Ursula as a micro doll like a teeny tiny villain and this I have no issues with Ursula I mean look her eyes look like normal for a for a scary villainy kind of thing they kind of normal eye shaped uh, anywho, so yeah, we got, <laughs> did I promise I wasn't gonna hold one about the eye shape? I was telling fibs. So, okay, Ursula, so cute as a micro doll. Oh, I love it. I want all the vill villains as micro dolls. That would be so good. But we've also got Prince Eric. I don't know what the new Prince Eric's gonna look like in this live action movie coming soon, but I do love his little suit top. His eyes are also quite normal looking, which is nice. Really cute little face print, actually. I really like his face print, his little quirky smile. And he's got the hair piece. We've seen this before. I think it might've been a darker brown or a black initially, but that's fine. But this part, apparently Sebastian is now just a faceless crab which is a little bit sad, but hopefully, I don't know, I have no idea what's happening in this movie. But these three micro dolls are included in the set. Ursula is the winner in my <laughs> my mind here, so she's gone in the middle. And poor old Sebastian, he's become a generic crab. Aww. So this actual print on the front of the book, the buildable book, is just fire. It's fantastic. It's fantastic art. Uh, but we <laughs> I actually recorded a really, really good visual of what that looked like when I was opening up the box. So but we'll have a good look at it at the end. Love this little shell for the actual binding of the book. Very, very nice sticker there. These are going together in exactly the same way as all these storybooks have gone. So I'm just speeding through this because it's the same sort of configuration, but I do have to make sure I put the front on the correct side because I have done this incorrectly before. I have prior on this. All right, on the edge here, we do have this bit which turns with the key to make it a lockable box, which is really such a good feature. It's a nice secure lockable box too. Let's do the lockable bit first because we're not supposed to do that yet but I don't care. We're going to put this in here. When you turn it, it is firmly locked. Look at that. See? And you can open it up. So it's such a good little mechanism. Really simple and really, really effective. Okay. Stickers next, which we used to leave to the end, but I've learned previously that we now have to put them on first because actually things go over them. Some of the builds go over them. So this looks like it's in uh, aerial side of the ocean where it's a little bit mm, lighter. There's a little pearl here in the corner. And the other side, which is in the dark purple, is Ursula's side of the ocean. So similar sort of print, but just in a dark dark color. Lots of interesting things to be found on the ocean floor in these stickers. There's a lot of good stuff going on in these graphics. A few little jumper studs going into the corner and now we get to start with the little builds which go in here and these are all detachable and lots lots of fun. So this is, I love these half pieces with the studs on them. They're so useful. So this is the bust of Sebastian. No. What? No. Of Prince Eric. <laughs> bust of Sebastian would be good. He would be like a featureless crab. <laughs> Poor Sebastian. I can't get over the fact that he's now like budget cut. <laughs> budget cut version Sebastian. All right. We do still have a dingle hopper. We got our fork here. So this looks like it might be Ariel's little collection. Dingle hopper. We got a telescope and we got a wine bottle. So these are little detachable sections that are going to go in the corners of the book. And this is Ursula's side. Very nice. I love the pearl on the top. Love these pearlescent pieces. They're just so pretty. So this goes over on Ursula's side and then we can put her here and then this spins in the front so she can dance with 
Prince Eric's statue? I don't know. Uh, cool. All right. So let's have a look. These bigger bills now go along the spine on the inside and they're actually double sided or two sided. So one side's facing Ursula and the other side's facing Ariel's part. So they're both under the water. There's, I don't even know why Prince Eric is in here because does he end up under the water at any stage? I don't know, but he is now. <laughs> There's no place for him. I hope he can breathe underwater. Actually, he's an interesting addition to this. I understand why he's in here, but I would like to see King Triton as a micro doll too. That would be really cool and would have fitted better with with the actual underwater theme. So here's Ariel's contract that she signs with Ursula. <gasps> the like planty bits now in that dark, in that pinky color. It's like magenta, dark magenta. There's a map in here and holding the map in place in this little alcove is this bit with a print, oh, well not print, with a sticker of, yeah, bookshelf with some nice random, just nice random knickknacks on it. Fabulous. Uh, this is going to be, I think this is the middle section. This is the middle section, which is where you can normally kind of just stage your characters, which is fun. Got some pearls on either side, bit of shiny bling, which is nice. And uh, this goes on here and that oh, attaches a nice gold shell. So this can be either a throne or a bed kind of section for Ariel. It's kind of up to interpretation, I think. Gosh, I can't speak today. Interpretation. And this is our Archie bit over the top. Another little pearl. Loving the addition of the pearls rather than all the little shiny hearts that you generally get in the Disney princess stuff. So yeah, pearl looks really nice and appropriate, obviously, for under the water. Okay, so that's the middle section. This is the other side. We have a globe here. It's almost like a library. Like we have, is it Ursula's side a library or is... I don't know. I'm overthinking this because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the story of my life. Another little magenta piece of foliage or seaweed. And yeah, look, see, we got the trident for King, for King Triton. <laughs> you know what happened there. I was going to say King Trident. Yeah, doing terribly well today. So we have got a book here that's going in this little alcove. And once again, same design as the other side. You got this little flip down hingy bit, which is really useful to hold stuff in. And this has got a book, yeah, bookcase -y print on the outside too. Why do I keep calling it a print? It's a sticker. All right, so these go on opposite sides of this middle section. And this is Ursula's side. And the other side is Aerial side. So let's get these into situ and see how they look. Okay, that's wrong. So that bit goes, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah, so this goes here. This is Ariel's side. The contract goes over here on Ursula's side. And then this goes here. Why is the trident on Ursula's side? I don't know, but it's cool. I like the fact that they included a trident. It's a really nice little addition. So you look, Ariel can have a bit of a bit of a dance swingy around there with the statue of Prince Eric. She can hang out in the shell. We can, I don't know where to put Prince Eric, maybe here in the library kind of bit, maybe that he can breathe there. And poor old Sebastian, he can hang out over here next to the pearl. Now, when you're gonna close this down, you t tend to not be able to leave any of the characters on any of their little jumper studs because it just doesn't fit. So who have I got catching in here and getting in the way? I think it might be, is Prince Eric in the way? Hop out of the way, Prince Eric, you're always in the way. I think, oh, I think that the contract is actually catching. I may have put that in that hinge bit in upside down. So I might have to change that around, but look, I can jam it shut with a key. Look, held it shut, nice. Oh, that opening like that book artwork front cover artwork is absolutely sophisticated and gorgeous all right so they're all a bit messy now so we can see what it looks like on the inside you can pull the bits and pieces out so you can make a little scene outside too you play, you play with this however you want or set it up as a display oh, the front cover of that book is yeah absolutely eye-catching so gorgeous all right let me know what you think of this micro doll version of the new live action a little mermaid movie which we haven't seen yet at this time <laughs> and yeah, check back in because more videos are coming up soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.